How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to reset your iPhone 5C. iPhone 5C back to factory settings. And uh, definitely recommend you have your iPhone plugged up to power, especially if your battery's low, just because uh, you don't want your battery to run down while it's trying to reset. So definitely make sure you do that. And we're going to go ahead and go to the settings app. Find your settings. From there, you should be on the general tab, which looks like such. And you want to come all the way down to where it says general. And then go all the way down to the bottom where it says reset. From there, go to erase all content and settings. And it will say this will delete all media and data and reset all settings. Okay? Now, one recommendation I have is um, if you do have your iCloud set up, before we do this, I'm going to hit cancel. You should go down to iCloud and you need to go to storage and backup and you should, um, well, see my backup is turned off for one just because I have the way I have it set up, but uh, make sure your, your, uh, your backup is on and there's going to be a button that will say backup now and there it is right there. So you're going to tap backup now. And what it'll do is it'll back up all the current settings. For example, apps you've downloaded, any wallpapers you have, any notes that you have, pictures. On the screen before that right here, these are all things where you can set what you want it to back up. So mail, contacts, uh, Safari, bookmarks, notes, photos, documents, all that. Okay, so it's always good to definitely do a backup right before you do a factory reset just because um, if not, um, and people in factory reset for different reasons, but um, when you go to sign back in, if you're signing back into the same phone or a new phone, you have to basically reset, all, you have to basically recustomize the phone. You have to download all your apps again, you have to move all your photos and all your stuff. iCloud basically backs up all that stuff for you so you don't have to recustomize it, it just saves all your settings. So, anyway, the backup is done. The way you know it, it'll say last backup and it'll say the time. So, you know, 638. So now we're going to go back to general and then we're going to go to reset. Then we're going to go to reset. I'm excuse me. We're going to go to erase all content and settings. Second option. And then tap erase iPhone. And it will say, are you sure you want to erase? All media and data settings will be erased. This cannot be undone. Tap erase iPhone. And that's it. And from this point, it will take anywhere from two minutes to five minutes for it to fully reset itself. It's basically going to take off all the information that was on the phone and it will reset it back like brand new. Now just to go over a couple of reasons why people do a factory reset. One of the reasons people do it is if they're going to return the phone. For example, maybe you want to up, update, uh, you want to change it for like a, a different color or uh, a model with more storage. And you want to return the phone to the store, you always want to do a factory reset first just to make sure that you're not giving them a phone with all your information on it. So that's one reason I recommend it. The second thing is you might be giving the phone away to a family member, maybe passing it down to someone else. And you shouldn't give them the phone with all your stuff on it because you may have personal things, you may have photos you forgot to take, you forgot to take off of there, whatever. And it's just as a safety precaution, it's better to not have your information on something you're going to sell or give away. So. Those are kind of the reasons why people do it. If you've rooted, your, if you've uh, jailbroken your phone, keep in mind that factory resetting doesn't always undo all of the features of jailbreaking. That's kind of why I've steered away from jailbreaking. Uh, there might be some new developments by the time this video comes out or by the time you watch it. But as far as I know, when you jailbreak, it's really hard to totally undo that. So. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you guys have found this helpful. I'm not going to sit and watch the whole ending of the reset, but basically when it's finished, the phone is going to look like it did when you first got it. It will be at the hello screen and it will be at the setup screen. Okay? So once again, hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to HG Tech Videos. And, oh, there it is. It reset that fast. So that's what it looks like. All right? Take care and have a good one.